We greet everyone with the peace of the Lord Jesus. We are speaking from Manaim, in Espírito Santo, located on the town of Marichal Floriano, in a transmission via satellite for all the Christian Church Maranatha in Brazil and to many other countries abroad. And we are transmitting from the internet and for many other digital platforms with simultaneous translation in many languages to the entire planet. At this moment, we are going to begin this event with a prayer. And for this, I invite the whole congregation to stand up. Lord God, we plead for the power that is in the blood of Jesus, the Lord Jesus, for the, pray, the wonderful operation that has been able to reach us has made us be closer to you. We ask that our sins may be forgiven. And from this moment forward, we may have deep fellowship with the Holy Spirit and that there will be complete freedom for the operation of this Holy Spirit upon us. Is a plea that we say in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. Glory to Jesus, hallelujah. We are speaking to our brethren in the five continents and also to many visitors that honor us with their presence at this moment in all our churches spread all over the planet. We're firstly we're going to speak about Maranatha Christian Church and about what the Lord has done in our midst throughout the 50 years of existence of our institution. The Maratha Christian Church was born in 1968 as a result of a project, prophetic project of, of God throughout the centuries and live a moment 
a specific moment in the Bible where the people would be prepared for the great day of the Lord throughout the years. Since its foundation, Maranatha Christian Church was making an effort to fulfill its mission of spread the gospel to every creature, but also pay attention to fulfill its social role, helping its members or all the ones who uh, nearby giving assistance and the care and giving attention to the ones that need the most. The family. The family is an institution that has been established by God and Maranatha Christian Church give great worth to it in our church throughout the planet. There is a special care for the families from part of our pastors and members. And our seminars, events gather parents and children on the weekends and holidays so that together they may enjoy the local beauties, leaving moments of interaction and learning and glorification to the Lord. The children. The care with the children begin on the daily lives of our church and biblical teaching, giving worth to the children and with active role in the services and the preparation so that they may have a worthy and honorable future as citizens. Children learn notions of economy, health, and prevention of uh, domestic accidents. With the firefighter, they learn first care, first aid, and even notion of fire, com combating fire and as they learn about the native um, veg vegetation of the Atlantic uh, forest there is a new institute that was created to take care of children with special needs that's the newest initiative of Maranatha Christian Church in the compass of the care with our children the Mission Amazon. Uh, the Mission Amazon is a special project of Maranatha Christian Church, a noteworthy work, social work, that is done twice a year, that is in its eighth edition. This is the Amazon Mission. On each edition, 50 volunteers between doctors, dentists, nurses, and social workers of many specialities <coughs> go to uh, many locations in, in in Brazil, they gather in in the region of Pará, where they go out to uh, assist the people from uh, people with great needs, their inhabitants that once were being forgotten, they have their lives changed when the the professions go there to the, their communities and near the rivers. Prothesis, definitive prothesis, prosthetics, It's also important to highlight the work of uh, social inclusion. There's no limits for the transmission of the Word of God to all the ones who need it. The deaf and the deaf and blind uh, have been cared of by, for the last 10 years by the institution. In every seminar, in many of the churches, there's a noteworthy number of members that are willing to learn the Brazilian sign language and they work as interpreters of language call, helping to bring the teaching to the ones to, who can't hear. <coughs> Another project of great um, impact is a project health uh, developed by Institution Pastor Barros and 
distributed by Marath Christian Church in the in it, uh, work of prevention of uh, skin cares, skin care, skin cancers. And throughout the, la the 10 years of existence, the project has been able to reach thousands of people through consultations, procedures, treat treatment, and surgeries. Science and faith. Another important project developed by Maranatha Christian Church is the work of research regarding the relationship between science and faith, showing that science is something that is being confirmed in reason, but faith is something that comes from God. It causes us to transcend to beyond the human measure. It causes men to leave the project of God. Biblical Institute, the Biblical Institute, uh, the Educational Biblical Institute of Manatha has the concern too. We know that uh, the development of the personality uh, of man goes through teaching the Bible. That's why the Manatha Institute was created to offer the members of the institution uh, biblical and doctrinaire teaching. Besides the deepening of the learning of the living word, many course of uh, formation uh, for new jobs, they are available on the pla digital platform of the um, Biblical Institute. <coughs> the system of communication of the Manatha Christian Church is a structure that is amongst the most modern of the country formed by a system of transmission by satellite to the entire country and the three Americas uh, rated with uh, listening uh, in 164 countries and a digital platform so that everyone may be access to the message and the songs of praise in adoration to the Lord this, this structure is known as pioneer on its format reaching hundreds and thousands of people every week in their transmissions. The Sunday schools are transmission of greatest participation in the church in the entire world. The work abroad. <coughs> the work abroad. One of the landmarks of Maranatha Christian Church is the growth of the work abroad. In 92 countries of the country of, of the planet, there are a church established and groups gather under the same direction of the Holy Spirit and live the same experiences and doctrines of our institution. We are in every continent of the planet. Many actions prove the zeal and the responsible way in which the Maranatha Christian Church takes care of the, of the environment. Amongst them, the and power plants of capture of solar light and that already um, take advantage of, of clean energy in 200 churches and the uh, state of Espiritu Santo and Pará. And there's also uh, a station of treatment of water and sewage that take reuse mo most than 80% of the water uh, in the seminar location, which represents more than a million liters of water that is uh, reused. And Maratha, through its president, Jeduti, and many of their pastors receive an homage in many cities and states in Brazil, in chambers and leg legislative uh, assemblies. And there was a solemn uh, event and uh, Congress, Federal Congress, where the word of the Lord was would be proclaimed in one of the highest courts of our nation.
All Manains. There are 62 Manains spread all over the country and also abroad. Locations reserved for the teaching of the doctrine and so that the members of the Maratha Christian Church and their families may enjoy of spaces in complete harmony with nature, nature and deep fellowship with the Lord God. Our temples. Our temples, they are also a land, um, a signature of Maratha Christian Church. There are more than 180 places of um, services in Brazil and abroad. They are designed to offer comfort and safety to all the ones who participate in our service and that they may participate with joy. They are designed and built for a greater circulation of air which causes the environment more comfortable and more adequate for meetings and services in, in many at uh, the same time that were uh, diseases uh, propagating in locations where there is to close, closed up. Now we are going to we are going to share with joy about a uh, message that is sent by Pastor uh, of President, Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro, my brother from Maratha. I want to greet you for, for your 50 years, for the work that you do, uh, social, moral, and religious. Always concentrate on family. I want to thank you for, because you exist. Brazil is ours. <coughs> I want to send a greeting to you and be with God. Maranatha Christian Church throughout its history leaves and testifies of, about signs from the part of the Lord God. There is much more that could have been presented here, but our time is reduced. The Lord has given us much, but we have a great riches, the revelation to His Word. In a few instants, is going to take place the second part of this event. We greet every one of all the participants of this event with the peace of the Lord Jesus. Amen. We are transmitting uh, in the world level directly from the Manaim of the state of Espírito Santo with simultaneous translation to many languages. Maranatha Christian Church is present in nations of every continent of the planet, churches from countries in the three Americas, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Oceania, connected by the same doctrine and the direction of the Holy Spirit of God, united by the living word. Brethren from every part of the world participate on the same service jointly in the same body and in the same spirit. Through the system of transmission, the members of Maratha Christian Church of the entire planet leave a moment of unity and fellowship as the Hebrews lived in the departure from Egypt and the disciples with the Lord Jesus before his death on the cross of Calvary. <coughs> Thank you. 
people from every part of the world have been reached by their eternal gospel and for the mes message of the soon return of the Lord Jesus. We're going to pray. We're going to invite the church to stand up. <coughs> Lord, Father Almighty, by the glorious, glorious Spirit of Jesus in your name, in your blood, we enter into your presence, presence at this moment. And we supplicate that your Holy Spirit may be acting on the minds and hearts of all the ones who participated with us on this event, bringing peace, comfort, hope as an answer to everything that will be presented here on this meeting, and that your name may be glorified for the glory of Jesus. Amen. Let us be seated. Maranatha is a biblical word mentioned in the first word, first letter of Paul on the Corinthian Corinthians, chapter 16, verse 22. The original, the original Maranatha Christian Church. And the word Maranatha is comprised of two words, Maran, which means our Lord, and Atta, which means faith, Maranatha, the Lord Jesus comes. The word Maranatha was used when the king was being awaited for to bring justice. And the herald would go ahead of the king blowing a trumpet and proclaiming to everyone, Maranatha, the king is coming. Therefore, Maranatha is an alert. The expression of a prophetic moment that precedes the return of the Lord Jesus time which it, that is being awaited for the Church of Christ and its preparation for the rapture. Trumpet and feasts is the title of this event, which is an answer to many questionings and challenges that is being lived by man. As someone that is inside of a vehicle going down a hill without direction and without brakes. And the same God that sees us is able to predict and provide all all things. Where the warnings, warnings and signs are answers that give us hope to continue in our walk. The one who created us has the right answer to each moment and we are not living without direction. Reminding the word of the Lord Jesus, look, when those things begin to take place, look above. 
raise your head, because the your redem redemption is near. Gospel Luke chapter 21 verse 28. Everything, my brethren, is in the project of God, registered historically, historically and prophetically in His Word, knowing that the life has limits, and we are po we possess the the land of of promise as registered in the Bible. The heavens are the heavens of God, but the land. The earth was given to the children of man. Psalm 115, verse 16. The word of God sustained and maintains the heaven and earth and all the things as a treasure, according to the biblical text, in which uh, being the uh, light of his glory and the image of his person and sustaining all things through the word of his power. Hebrews 3, verse 3, knowing that man is a crown of creation. As a church in this day, we are giving account to many. They are participating with us on this alert in Brazil and abroad as responsible, promoting our awakening through this word in their historical annals and especially prophetic signs that are evident in our days. Nothing will be hidden because surely the Lord Jehovah will not do anything without having revealed His secret to His servants, the prophets. Amos chapter 3 verse 7 The Gospel of the kingdom is being preached with emphasis on his historical worth. However, at this time, the church is being awoken for its prophetic worth as a direct as answer to many that uh, have been living scared, faced with uh, events that have caused many great expectation and anguish, source of affliction to many, according to what's prophesied in the Word of God. And there will be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and on earth, anguish of the nations. And they will be perplexed by the roar of the sea and the waves. Luke 21, 25, the image that has been shown here proves the fulfillment of the prophecy. The alert today, we are going to use the word trumpet, uh, instrument, uh, a blown instrument mentioned in the entire Bible, used in proclamation and judgment, which has the sound that are evidenced, evidenced today in the prophetic events of great repercussion, with signs and alerts that in a very clear way and visible serve as an, a warning, calling the attention to the world, to the occurrences and events as the ones witnessed in September 11, 2001, according to the biblical prophecy. The great day of the Lord is coming near. It's coming near and is hastening quickly the voice of, of the Lord, bitterly will uh, claim man, the powerful man, that day is a day of outrage, a day of anguish and anxiety, a day of desolation, a day of darkness, a day of clouds and, and thick darkness, a day of trumpet and great sound against the strong cities and the high towers. Zephaniah, Zephaniah chapter 1, verses 14 to 16. Once again, the images are out there, evidencing and showing the fulfillment of the prophecy. The whole Bible, my brethren, is being geared toward historically and prophetically to three specific groups, the church, Israel, and the remaining nations, classified as Gentiles. 
for the Church of Christ in our days, the signs and prophetic uh, warnings geared towards it are geared towards the peace and vigilance. This peace and vigilance is in faithfulness, in prudence, and in service. Like as the Lord Jesus said, who is the faithful servant and prudent that the Lord has constituted upon his house to give sustenance to his temple? Blessed is the, the servant that the Lord, when he comes, will find serving him. And truly, I say that he will place him upon all his goods. Matthew 24, verse 45 to 47. The prophetic predictions for this time are registered in the Bible. In many moments that are highlighted by the actions and evidence promoted by the Trinity. Actions of the Trinity. Firstly, action of the God Father. And that will be take place that later I will pour out my spirit upon every flesh, our children and our uh, our sons and daughters will prophesy. The el your elders will have dreams and uh, your youth will have visions and will show wonders from heaven and on earth. Blood and hell and columns of smoke. The sun is going to darken and the moon is going to turn into blood. J before uh, uh, the terrible day of the Lord comes and Joel verse 2 Bible, uh, chapter 2 from ver 28 to 30 uh, Apostle Peter in the Pentecost in Acts he emphasized the proph prophecy of Joel with a highlight to this prophetic moment before the great and glorious day of the Lord showing that the first pouring out of the Holy Spirit was on the Pentecost 2,000 years ago, establishing the Church of Christ in the world. And now, at this time, just before He comes, the great and glorious day of the Lord, the last pouring out of the Holy Spirit prophesied, preparing the Church of Christ to be taken out of this world. The action of the Lord Jesus, and He will send His angels with great sound of trumpet, which will gather there His chosen from the four winds, from one to the other side of heaven. Matthew 24, verse 31. And the current time, we call attention to the action of the Holy Spirit as a third person of the Trinity in the revelation of the Lord Jesus glorified to His church as a groom that will come to take His bride. Registered in the book of Revelations where we'll read all together the text that is being on the project and the Spirit and the bride says, Come. And whoever hears says, Come. And who are thirsty, come. Say, Come. And whoever once may take from the water of living water uh, take of the living waters. In a summary, we want to approach the participation of the church in a certain moments of this alert. And we will see soon after another prophetic sign that is related to the nation of Israel with a highlight to our days. The church will stand up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. seated once again.
We have seen already the prophetic signs related to the Church of Christ. Now we will see the signs related to Israel as they watch the march down a prophetic moment, prophetic time for the church in the world. Before we go through the subject, we're talking about Israel. And there is no relationship whatsoever with the political Israel. For we know that there are descendants of Muslims in Brazil and other countries. The political and religious disputes are not our focus. Therefore, anything that we talk about this theme here will be essentially prophetic and spiritual, never political. As a church of Christ, we understand that we need to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. As the Psalm 122, verse 6, pray for the peace of, is of Jerusalem. But the word of God says, as we see in the book of Zechariah, chapter 12, 3, it says, And it will happen in that day that I will make Jerusalem a heavy stone to all people. And this, prof this prophecy is fulfilled in our time. It is a heavy stone. Jerusalem is a heavy stone to all nations, to the whole world. Jerusalem attracts the attention of everyone. You see that there is no dispute for New York, Tokyo, Moscow, or any other city in the world. Jerusalem is the center of different interests, social disputes, political, economic, religious, are, are in all in battle. And the world is, is involved searching for solutions. We know that Jerusalem is inside a geographic and historic context. But our goal is to say, is to highlight the prophetic and spiritual aspect of that city. So now, look at what Jesus said in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 23, verses 37 through 39, when Jesus is rejected by his own nation. This, and Jesus says the following. O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her. How often I wanted to gather your children together as a hand gathers her chicks under her wings, but you were not willing. See, your house is left to you desolate. For I say to you, you shall see me no more till you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Now observe that this prophecy of Jesus about Jerusalem city, we want to emphasize it's a phrase, your house will, is left to you desolate. In the prophetic sermon, Jesus he says once again that terrible situations would happen to the city of Jerusalem as is written in the Gospel of Luke chapter 21. 21-24 And they will fall by the edge of the sword and be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled by Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. So at this time, we see that every single attitude, anything that the Jesus says was prophetic. So at the end of his ministry, Jesus, he sees a fig tree that was blossomed but with no fruits and he says never more never more a fruit will be will come off of you as we see in Matthew 21 19 so this prophecy was fulfilled in the first century of the Christian era the moment of the people of, of Israel was dismantled around the world the fig tree dried out 
in Bible, at the, in the Bible, Israel is represented by the fig tree, while the vineyard um, represents the church. And we see in, on this graphic, we see the plan of God throughout the centuries for all nations. We see on the top half a fig tree laying flat that represents Israel. And we see underneath the, the vineyard that represents the church. And we see on the bottom in dark blue and light blue represents a thousand years. So from Adam to Abraham, two thousand years. From Abraham to Jesus, another four, two thousand. And that's where the trunk of the fig tree with its its leaves. The moment when Jesus says, "Nevermore, the fruit will shall, shall come out of you," is when Israel leaves the prophetic time of God, and now the church comes in. And it's important to mention that in, in approximate numbers, we're talking about. 2,000 years of the church's existence. It's at the end of this conversation. We see this. We will live this moment, this unique moment. And now observe with attention. When Jesus, when he, when he goes up to the Mount of Olives, the disciples asked him, What kind of sign shall we see from you? And Jesus shows them the exact moment. Of his, of his return when he talks about the parable the fig tree parable the gospel of Matthew chapter 24 starting in verse 32 let's read now learn this parable from the fig tree when its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near at the doors. No, that it is near at the doors. So the growth of the, the, the fig tree, it's linked to Israel as a nation. When exactly when it happened in the year of 1948, that is a sign for the church and for the world. The fig tree has blossomed. So the blossoming of the fig tree is a great sign of the return of Christ. Blessed is God for this unique moment that is lived by the church. And we also say, we also highlight that the feasts that were established by God to the people of Israel it has its prophetic character prophetic characteristics to the church the name of this event is trumpets and feasts in the, in the, in the, in the, in the feast of Passover Jesus he's the land of God in the feast of the unleavened bread the, the, the first feast Jesus is the resurrection and in this moment the feast of the trumpets we await for the last and, and greatest and glorious most glorious feast of Christ when the last trumpet is sound we will participate of the, the wedding of the Lamb marriage of the Lamb he will come with power and great glory to rapture the church. The prophetic sign is before us. Before all these, we emphasize that we live a single moment in humanity, in humankind. History. We understand the, Jesus' purposes in, in revealing to the church the evidences and the prophetic that we see in the book of the Revelations. Amen.
stand there was a silence in heaven for almost half an hour revelations chapter 8 verse 1 and the seven angels that had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to play it book of revelation chapter 8 verse 6 My beloved, every sin, the first topics that speak regarding the great signs prophesied for this time, signs which are related with the church, which is the baptism of the Holy Spirit, spiritual gifts, is the pouring out of the Holy Spirit, what we have already been mentioned, the church being prepared for its departure. We don't even, even need to speak more about the topic. These prophetic signs and markers are before us, and regarding Israel, where was already mentioned, what is the topic most important of this Three, they have already been mentioned, which is the return of Israel in, to its land. So Israel organized as a nation. A nation is related not only simply to the, the, to the land, but also related to the people. So Israel is now organized as a nation, as a sign, and we all saw the prophetic sign that speaks about the parable of the fig tree showing that the fig tree that was had withered for 2,000 years now is blossoming as Israel, with the sign of Israel, returned to its land. This is the great sign for the entire world. The first was the putting of the Holy Spirit, the experience that we are seeing this day. It is no news for the church, for the faithful church. The blessing of the Holy Spirit preparing the church for its departure to hear the sound of the trumpet. So this sound, sound of the trumpet is fundamental for the church. And the church needs to be ready to hear this sound. And 
the objective of this event. It's pretty clear is to call the attention to this prophetic sequence of these specific moments that are, have been pointed out in the biblical history, I already mentioned, that involves the church, Israel, and the world. It is very clear, this, the signs and announcements from the part of God, and it was pretty clear that the great sign for the church is the pouring out of the Holy Spirit. I'd like to repeat it. From, from Israel, it was the return into its land, its organization as a nation in 1948. And for the church is the provisions, or actually predictions, the prophetic predictions, they are geared toward the world. And the church became aware of all of this, which are the signs and warnings that are mentioned in the trumpets that we are speaking about this prophetic instrument and it is historical for Israel which is the shofar but for us it's prophetic they have the predictions of the trumpets they have been played and mentioned in the book of revelations prophesied by the Lord Jesus and also by the apostles and we'll see the topic here and that was silence in heaven for almost seven hour. Now, brethren, the solemn moment in which we are living is really great because when the Word of God is, refers to a silence in heaven, it is something that has never been seen before. Firstly, because of eternity, there's no time because half an hour is not something to be judged uh, to judge eternity with. So because the revelation, the as prophetic aspect of eternity cannot be measured with man's time. Man's time is the Kronos. This prediction is on the Kairos, which is the time of God. So God's time is highlighted by prophetic signs and man's time is by the, the watch, is the Kronos. So now going back, we observe that in the text, silence in heaven, uh, there was an, an, an unexpected occurrence. It is a dramatic pause because something, some event, something different for the world is going to happen. So everything is being prepared, eternity is being prepared, for, and the eternity stops, it stops before a change. It is a moment of the divine intervention. It is extended to this time. There are great transformations, we have been noticing this. The world is living like this. In a while, we're going to deal quickly with this topic. And so we are seeing that the creative work is suffering the results of this situation that has been prophesied. Our concern, as was said in the first message, is that the people don't have an answer today to everything that is occurring. The occurrences, they are very immediate and very quick. It seems like everything is, is going faster it is because there are so many news in the world. Man himself, it's man's mind. Individually, man is going through the greatest dramas. And they do not know about the answers, to give answers to everything that is taking place. So man going, is going through desperation many times and the infirmities that are out there, they do not know because they are born, they don't know why they are born, they live and die. So it is already a great problem for man. But when man sees the occurrences and we are seeing the accidents of every order in the world and individually, people keep asking me, what is this? Is this going to continue like this? Doesn't, don't we have an answer for this? And we are not here to give 
the, uh, we don't want to give, we are not here to give a solution to these problems, but to say that the people need to understand that there, it is all in, within a project. There is a plan from God and we are inside this project. There is no other way. The governments are out there, our governor is here, the mayors, they are all here present here. They are all fighting to resolve all the problems. We are here, we are witnessing. Uh, uh, climate is here, but this is not the central problem, but people are worried. But people, they, they are uncomfortable, and the world is in fact going through moments of perplexity. And the text that the pastor read, perplexity for the roaring of man, for the roaring of the seas and the waves, it is all biblical. So we don't have any other alternative. We are living this, and the land is ours. The text that was read, the land belongs to men, so then take care of it, and we are taking care of it. So let's continue. So in chapter 8, let's go to the, the book of Revelations, in chapter 8, also called the book of Revelations. We are going to point out a few visible uh, we're going to point out a few visible signs. Not only Maranatha is seen, the whole world is seen. Signs that are being fulfilled that are a highlight. We, we see the sounding of the trumpet, of the three first trumpets, out of the seven that are, are written and prophesied in the book of Revelations. Reminding that the effects of the trumpets they are cumulative. So then you play the first trumpet and they have an effect. Then you play the second, they receive the result of first and then the effects are cumulative until the third trumpet. So we're going to hear, go through the first to the third trumpet, reminding immediately that these three trumpets in a cumulative way that have been predicted in eternity they are not they are not punitive they are not punishment from God no people say oh God is punished it's judgment no that's not it there's no punishment because for as long as the church is present there is not going to be punishment upon the world because there is a project from God as you kept my word of my patience I will also protect you from the day of tribulation that is about to come upon the world so the church the event are out there, They're, they are being made by men. The wearing out of the world is being made by men. They are entropic. There is entropy, is a natural wearing out, but entropy is being made by men. So we see the three damage there, man is responsible for it, but it is all prophesied on the three trumpets. Let's go quickly through them. Let's go to the first trumpet. Let's all read together. The first angel and hell and fire followed. Uh, and the third of the trees were burned up. And all green grass was burned up. So there are events that are happening outside of the, the our country. They are in Australia, in Portugal, in the United States, in California, and also in Brazil. So, we're not going to speak about this. So now let's go to the second trump trumpet. So the question that I ask to everyone who is here is, has the first trumpet sounded, the third part of the, including, it's not only the green greenyard, but all the ones who are inside there, they also die. So now let's go to the second trumpet. Let's read. And a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. So, Revelations 8 9. See here the cover of the newspaper in 1970. And, uh, 17 of September uh, 1970. The world, uh, the sea is dying. The text also on the newspaper says the following. 
which was a research for made for 50 years by the French researcher Jacques Cousteau that made on board of his ship Calypso. He spent a period doing this research and he has observed the following. You can read it there, the ones who are here beside you, on this side and on our side here. The sea is about to die and you see 40% of the living creatures of the sea have been disappeared in the last 50 years. More than a thousand species have gone extinct. As the second trumpet sounded, yes, there is no doubt. So saying the following, that the trumpet is not a sign, I already explained, is the time of God and the time of man. When it says the trumpet sounded, was not yesterday or today, it was all the way there in eternity. God's economy is a, a warning for our time. So now observe. It's not the trumpet that is sounding in our time. The events in our time, they are cumulative. So the observation, the interesting observation is that we have here all the facts, uh, all these occurrences that are exacerbated in our time. Not that they didn't exist before, but what is the reason? Because the uh, agricultural borders have been taken over because of the increase of the population and not only because of this. Later on, we'll see other reasons there are also connected to us. So everybody already knows the seas are in a written situation. There are seas that no longer have life. We're not going to deal with this because it's not our topic. Our greatest concern is to remind the people that are afflicted, concerned, what is this? Why is this is taking place? The faithful church is being warned. Why is it being warned? Because the church knows that its time is coming. The church will depart. That's it. Oh, we are going to live and live, let the world uh, be destroyed. No, we are taking care of it. We are taking care of it. We are paying attention to everything that is happening. So now let's go to the third trumpet. And then the third and then uh, burn like a star fell from heaven burning like a torch and it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water so pay attention to the word absent in the book in the Russian and Ukrainian tongue is Chernobyl the word absent or warm word translated to Ukrainian is Chernobyl, where this atomic accident took place. 1,800 kilometers was the radius of action of this catastrophe. And the concern is because when the cloud, the nuclear cloud spread, so then there came the results in every in the whole world. So in Italy, it was detected Cesius 132. I'm not. Is is it Cesius? Cesius 135. It's already on the the pigs and the meat of the pigs. It, this is the result of Chernobyl, but that's not the problem. The great river that crisscrosses part of Europe and other regions, especially on Asia there, is the river Dnieper. There are other rivers that, that are born with their waters. The source of those rivers, the underground rivers, they feed a couple of rivers in Europe. And the, the, the water that is coming down from Chernobyl, it's coming down. It will surely contaminate what is the science is saying. It will contaminate the water of a few rivers in Europe. We're not worried about uh, to bring alarm to this because we have no solution to this. So it's not the problem, but it is something that exists. So now pay attention. I already spoke about the 
matter of the contamination of the sources of water. We're not going to speak here about what happens here. Men say that they died off of the waters because the waters became bitter in the book of Revelations. Hepatitis, cholera. We have uh, our river fresh water, something that has happened for many years. We also have another aspect, which is the the fourth trumpet, the first and second and third sounded. The first uh, uh, against the rivers and the other against the sea and the other against against fresh water. So now let's go to the fourth trumpet, summarizing the fourth angel sounded his trumpet, and the third of the sun was struck. So observe, a, a third of the sun was struck. According to Jackson, it was 40 percent, but the trumpet was a little more friendly. It was just only 30 percent. It was actually 33 percent. The third part of the sun was struck. The third part of the moon and the third of the stars. So this is the prophecy that is in the trumpet. So now let's, let's go and make a comparison that Jesus says regarding the, his return, regarding the church. The concern of Jesus is not about creating religion, it's about setting up a side of people, a church, for the day in which the groom is going to come and the church is the bride. So what did Jesus say? Let's compare here. So let's go. What did Jesus say in Matthew 24? And soon after those days, the sun will go darker and the moon and the stars they will fall from heaven and the uh, powers of heaven uh, are going to be shaken so this is the fourth trumpet is the foundation for the church the th three first have already sounded the fourth has not sounded yet and the fourth trumpet is exactly where is where is the mystery of God to, towards the church it was so, and the third part of the sun was stuck and struck, and the third of the moon. You know, what does the Book of Revelation say? What Jesus mentions, he says, uh, a sh harsh sound of the trumpet. The fourth sound of the trumpet is a harsh sound. It is something that because it's not going to change, it's going to be at one sound. The church is going to go. Let's continue. When I'm going to read the, the text. Right? Let's continue. The fourth trumpet we're going to see signs and judgment that are going to take place related to the alterations that we see here involving the entire universe, including the climatic aspect, the, the problem is the electromagnetic waves and gravitational and other related to the inclination of the axis of the Earth. We already know that it has 10 degrees of inclination. We don't know why the accidents and the climatic uh, chains that are taking place and the faithful church is not going to go through this tribulation. The text says as you have kept my word of my patience I also will protect you on the moment of the tribulation that is supposed is will come upon the entire world to attempt the uh, ones who inhabit on the earth. So the churches have been forewarned and there's no problem. So the last trumpet for the church mentioned by Paul says the following on the sound of the last trumpet is the fourth trumpet. It is not the seventh. The seventh is from the fourth forward. So now bringing the message to a close, says the last trumpet. You can show. Let us. So the first three trumpets have already blown. The last trumpets are going to be the three last ones. They are going to be blown after the church has departed there. So the importance of what is being presented here is in, in the importance of in the fact that it was prophesied by the Lord Jesus. I want to say clearly to all the ones who are here, what we are saying is not something that was prophesied by me or, or by the Manatee Christian Church. And the word is in that the entire prophecy was prophesied by the Lord Jesus. If the Lord Jesus is not important, so then it's a problem for each person individually. For us, the entire worth is in the prophecy of the Lord Jesus. It is It is thing that they say about Jesus. I tell everyone, be vigilant. It's not only for me. I am fighting to be vigilant. So we see the words of Jesus. 
betrayal, iniquity, a uh, dark cloud that the Lord of this century, it is biblical, the Lord of this century has uh, blinded the understanding. We have a dark cloud that is controlling the world. It reflected in, in the social behavior of man, iniquity and betrayal. This is the great problem of the world at this moment. Victimizing especially the children. I'm not going to speak clearly, but let's go back to the text here. We are the ones, you can read with me, the ones uh, when the Lord of this century has blinded the understanding of the incredulous. He has blinded the understanding. Still in this time, the Lord Jesus has also pointing out right highlight topics that is related to the beginning of the birthing pains. So the, the trumpets, they point out to the beginning of the birthing pains. So earthquakes, pestilence, and everything that we are seeing here, they are a result of what we have observed here. The picture here, the virus of Ebola virus and the situation of the children are victims, and man, how man is living, the pestilence, and also there's another aspect here. They will betray what Jesus said. They will betray one another and because it was multiplied and one will abhor the other. And because the iniquity will, will grow, the love of men will grow colder. Father and children. So this is the situation. I'm going to stop here showing the migration in the world. Men will be running from pla one place to another and the science will multiply. We we'll see the situation, migratory situation here. So now we're going to bring this master close, observing a few aspects that I'd like to, to be projected here on the screen immediately, prophetically. The feast on Pentecost for us is coming to a close. For the church coming to a close is a final period. It's no problem. We are waiting for the sound of the trumpet. So I'm at the door. So let's behold. I stand at the door and I knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him, and he with me. So Revelation 3:20. And see when you hear these things taking place, know that that I am closed at the door. So no, our confession. Let's make confession. The ones who want. The, the voice which I hear from heaven spoke to me again in, and said, go take the with your mouth, confess the Lord Jesus and with your heart confess. If you believe you'll be saved, this is an alert. This is an alert. Maranatha, the Lord Jesus is coming. The grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the incomparable love of God, our eternal Father, the power, the holy and sweet and tender consolations of the Holy Spirit may remain with you, my beloved, and with the entire people of God throughout the world, now and forevermore. Amen. going to begin the period of assistance if anyone desire prayer a great understanding of what was explained we are here at your disposal I want to thank the ones who showed up to be with us watching this special event and our service the next service is going to be today at 7:30 p.m. 
is an evangelistic service. We're going to be praying for this special moment here so that the Lord may be saving lives. Amen. Peace to the Lord. We're going to sing a song. It can be that one there. to God. Peace to the Lord, my brethren.